perennial centerfold and cover model of every hunting magazine in North America, the white-tailed deer is most certainly an icon. The most common and hunted big game animal in North America, they can be found nearly everywhere coast to coast. Incredibly adaptable to a wide variety of habitats, they've been known to eat over 600 different plants, including many mushrooms that would be poisonous to humans. That, along with the fact that they can run at speeds of 65 kilometers an hour and have excellent olfactory senses and eyesight, and you've got the makings of a real survivor. I'm just in time to take advantage of the last quiet day of bow hunting before rifle season opens tomorrow when so many shooters descend on the area. Of course, I've brought along my rifle for tomorrow as well, but I'll be starting this hunt with a bow. First things first though, from my trail cams, I've been able to chronicle some activity from a couple of groups, one of which is so sizable that I've spotted more than a couple of fairly large bucks within it. It's not a terribly long hike from camp, and given what I'm seeing, I'll definitely be getting into the tree stand I put up there when I put in the trail cam. The other camera to the north didn't yield much, but does show some activity in a rather open area. I'll probably check that spot on the second day when rifle season opens up. Unfortunately, several hours in the tree stand yields only a sighting of a couple of small young bucks and a few does. It's disappointing to be sure, but with no shooters showing up in the area, I move on to another stand further north where I saw some old sign on my way in. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna need you a heck of a lot closer than that for a bow. This time, I get a look at a beautiful buck. But in wind like this, he never comes within my comfortable shooting distance. My first day bow hunt isn't going well so far, so I decided to climb on down and do some spot and stock bow hunting instead. He shoots, he scores. Man, it's about time today. That is how to kick things off right there. That is a pretty deer.
As the afternoon begins flirting with the evening, and an isolated shower begins, I continue stalking through the brush and find a small group of bucks and does. I draw for a brisket shot on the lead buck when the does wander through my lane then spook. The whole group prances off, forcing me to track them further north. While negotiating the buck in the bushes to my right, another scampers into the grasses right in front of me and presents an irresistible broadside shot. The blood splash in the foliage leaves little doubt and I quietly make my way along the tracks. And there beside my buck, the group seems to be skulking back already. Though I'm in the open with nowhere to hide, the brush between us seems to mask my presence well enough. Though it started off kind of shaky, this first day produced some nice bucks and I've got no complaints. Time for some dinner and shut eye. Early morning brought some rain and the temperature dropped substantially. Hopefully that'll cause these crepuscular critters to crave the warmth of the midday sun and be more active. My rifle at the ready, I set out on this first day of rifle season in the hopes that we can find some big bucks before the hunting pressure mounts with the collective excitement of the hunters that have descended upon the reserve for today. Huckleberry. Perfect. Well, good morning, sunshine.
On my way north to check out the open area around the Trail Camera 22 location, I passed by my duck blind and noticed that I've got company there. Not terribly big, but still handsome. I get to within binocular distance of Trail Cam 22's location, not knowing what to expect. Sure enough, there is some activity, a small group and a couple of really nice bucks. already. My goodness, that is a nice buck. What a neat rack on him. And here's that first one. I've got a long hike to camp, so I start back. On my way, I'll do some calling and keep my wits about me, but it's been a great hunt. And though not all my trail cam photos came to life this weekend, I'm quite pleased with the bounty I did manage to find. Yes, can't pass him up. As I near camp, and the area where Trail Cam 21 captured that huge bunch of deer, I can barely believe my eyes. They've moved only a couple hundred meters northeast from where I expected them yesterday, and now they're right in front of me. I'm just going to wait here for just a few minutes. Good Lord, what is in the water around here? Look at these guys. Oh yeah, that's a double play. <laughs> <laughs> 